Hi guys, this video is just for my clarinet players so you can start to learn your concert B flat, which is the clarinet C scale. Obviously, we've learned a little bit on the first octave and we learned the low notes. Then in our Zoom call, we talked a little through playing the true first octave of the concert B flat scale, but we haven't had a chance to really get into how to play a two octave scale. That, of course, would have been our black bandana if we were still in school right now. And so I'm going to give you this video to help guide you. For your audition, if you only feel comfortable playing one octave, that is more than okay. And I'm going to teach you the one octave version as well as the two octave version here in this video today. Now, as I'm looking through your red book, I'm noticing that there are not any um, pages that are dedicated to teaching you a two octave concert B flat clarinet C scale. And so what I'm going to do is share my screen and show you um, it's not until book two of the Tradition of Excellence where they actually start teaching you the second octave. So I'm going to share this with you and then I will be creating a scale sheet to help you. Um, and I will put that on the Google Classroom as well so that you have that um, in the one octave version as well as the two octave version. For this audition, you are only going to play from the beginning to this whole note. All the arpeggios, thirds, all of that, that's not required for this part of the audition, okay? So I just wanted you to be able to see this on paper. We have learned somewhat this low octave of the scale. That's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. These three notes, B, C, and B, are probably um, some of you are weaker, but some of you have done a really fantastic job just jumping on up and jumping into that. So those are some I'm going to talk about a little bit today. Before I do anything, though, I want to make sure you have these note names. Because they apply to both octaves. Oop, always capital letters. All right. So those are our note names that we're required to use. We're going to clear some drawings. Oh, sad, it clears all of it. You get the idea. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and high C. All right, so when we're playing this scale, what you're gonna wanna do first and foremost is make sure that you know the note names, which we just walked through. Next thing, you're going to play uh, play through with your fingerings. Going C, D, E, F, right hand down for G, four, five, six, right pinky, A, rock up to A. Now going to B, thumb register, one, two, three, pinky, and the entire right hand still. Notice I don't have the A key hit, that would be bad. Then for high C, I pick up. I would really suggest that you practice G, A, B, C. Over and over and over. And all I'm doing is that right hand stays completely still for those four notes. It just hangs out. Yay! Once you can do that, make sure that you're not changing anything here to play those higher notes. Notice my mouth stays completely still. Inside my mouth, my tongue stays high and four, just like anything else I would have played. All right. Then I'm going to go through with my metronome, and I'm going to play just the first octave. Everything will be tongued. Okay, after I've practiced G, A, B, C hundreds and hundreds of times, and I feel really good about it. All right, here we go. Metronome's at quarter note equals 80, and we play. <laughs> gets us through the entire first octave. Now, at this point, if you need to pause, review some things, especially that G, A, B, C. Pause and come back to this video um, and then play along with my recording again. 
Now, some of you will be ready to go on to the second octave. Others of us will not be quite there yet, and that is okay. You play on this audition what you feel comfortable playing. Please don't play more than what you feel comfortable playing. Even if your top B and C don't come out, and you just need to play a one octave scale, and your B and C aren't there yet, that is okay. You just play to the best of your ability. <laughs> So that you can at least show me the fingering, so maybe, um, so we'll know that that is just a work in progress, and that's okay, all right? Sometimes it takes a little longer to learn those notes. And unfortunately, this is when we would normally be getting really good at this together, um, and you're just missing out on that, and that's no big deal. I totally understand that, and we'll learn, next, we'll learn it next year, no problem. All right, going on to the major scale second octave. Some of us are ready for this, some of us not, but I want to go ahead and tell you because we would have been doing this in class anyway. All right, so we have this high C, the middle C, starting right, I'm going to annotate it so you can see what I'm talking about, starting right here, this top range. That's the C on the third space, this thumb register, one, two, three, four, five, six, right pinky. You need your fingering chart, match that up, make sure you're on the third space C. Then from here, all we get to do is pick up one finger at a time, and we go up the scale. Yes! Seems like the easiest thing ever, but it can be a little bit of a challenge. You got this, though. We've got C, D, E, F, G, A, super high tongue fast air, B, and I C is just the thumb and register key. Wow! If you can do this, you guys have to have a super high tongue that's way up in your mouth. I'm talking like Elmo, like Dr. McWayne told us. And you're blowing super fast air as well. Keep that chin really flat and the corners in tight. And you should be able to make that happen with a little bit of practice. Okay? It sounds like this. this scale for this test. That is great. Again, please feel free to just do that. I'm going to play two different versions for you. Feel free to pause, rewind, come back to this, work on a little few things, few notes at a time, and then come back to the video again. This is what it's for, just to help you. All right, so if I'm going to play the entire two octave scale, and I'm going to use this piece of music and not the one Miss Jackson's going to give you later, okay? I'm going to use C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and I'm going to pause here. If I want two octaves, I keep going. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Then I pick back up here, jump from here, go back, and I play down the rest of these notes. B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Ms. Jackson, that's a huge mess. I totally understand. That's why I'm going to create you guys a new scale sheet so you can see that a little bit nicer. For now, here is the one octave version, which means you just play here up and here down. The last piece of information I have for you is that typically when we play scales, we tongue up and slur down. And so we're going to add a big slur right here to all of this. Okay? Starting on the first octave only. That first octave is always the low octave. Here we go. Play together. All right. Then, if you feel really good about that, you want to start going on to playing a two octave scale. Here's what that's going to sound like for your two octave people when you're ready. you through two octaves again only if you're ready 
use this video, come back to it, practice the G, A, B, C a lot. And then start learning your first octave and finally your second octave. Best of luck to you guys as you work on this. I hope that you are going to feel very successful with your concert B-flat scale, at least in one octave. Um, and please let me know if you have any further questions or concerns, okay? Good luck to you guys. Love you. Bye.